Hello fellow modelers. In this video, we're going to be looking at the total bill of the fuselage of the Dornier DO17Z2. Let us begin. After we have used a brand new sharp blade to cut out the canopy panels, we now paint the underside and the edges to ensure a proper looking model. I use mylar or shrink wrap and cryolite glue for all my window panels. I apologize for the angle at which the camera was when recording this, so I did not capture the full bill of the canopy. But I use cryolite glue to tack the edges and then my needle nose tweezer to hold the shape. I build all my machine guns out of toothpick and of course you put the machine gun barrel over it, paint what's going to be on the inside of the canopy, insert into canopy then paint the outside. Then of course cryolite glue again to tack the canopy in position. Once secured in a proper place we then use more and spread evenly on the underside of the canopy. As always, frequently refer to your diagrams so you can ensure a proper build. At this point, I forgot to cut the central hole out of the fuselage, so I had to correct that before continuing. Mm -hmm. 
now we're going to be putting in the Bombay interior. I use the back of my blades to lightly score where I am going to be bending the cardboard panels. Nice. So now the center fuselage framework is now complete. So here now we have the forward fuselage, which is cockpit, bombardier, and crew location. Secondly, we have the framework, which we will then put on the top panel. If you like what you see so far, please consider subscribing and help my channel grow. This I love to do with a passion and I hope you will enjoy the journey as I dive into many other subjects in the future. Thank you. Now that we have joined the forward fuselage to the central fuselage framework, we apply the top panel covering, paint the edges of the joiners, and the edges of the cardstock. Once we apply the top fuselage panel and we let the glue dry, it's time occasionally to go and paint the edges of both the joiner strips and panel edges in the appropriate colors as close as possible to what's on the card sheet itself. This will definitely help the model to look so much better. Extreme care must be taken when cutting out the Bombay door and the access hatch.
any minor gaps found can always be filled in with the correct panel or shade of color that can be found in the GPM booklet kit. Now on to the rear fuselage assembly. I just love using my handy paintbrush handles to roll fuselage panels. When joining the rear fuselage to the center fuselage, please ensure that it's aligned properly. I usually tack it with some cryolite glue just to hold it in place until the glue has fully dried. So my friends, until next time, happy modeling and one love.